I see this album as a debut album. Peru Negro was commissioned by Miguel Hart de Doya to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Forward Symphony Orchestra. What he wanted was for me to be inspired by Afro-Peruvian music. Afro-Peruvian music has its beginnings when the slaves from Africa were brought by the Spanish to Peru back in the 16th century. They really brought all their traditions, customs and, and instruments and they created music with the most simple of elements. In addition to that, they were singing, of course, and dancing. And I was inspired by that. I'm not trying to replicate uh, folk music from Peru. I am really trying to incorporate those elements to my own harmonic language. So it's, a, it's an inventive folklore of sorts. Synesthesia, or synesthesia in English, uh, it's um, a very special piece. I was contacted by uh, Radio France, and they have a radio program called A La Breve. They air two minutes of music every day of the week, so I had to write a piece in five movements, each movement lasting two minutes. And that already is a, is a challenge because they're giving you the form in advance. I started to think, what is it that has five elements yet is integrated into a single whole? And I realized our senses, of course. Just to go a step further, I realized, well, if I'm gonna write a piece of music about taste or a piece of music about vision, then I am really crossing in between senses and this is actually a condition that some people who are fortunate enough i think are born with and it's called synesthesia and this is what brought the whole piece together So I chose this poem by a Peruvian poet called José Santos Chocano and the poem is called Blason and is really well known for all of us because we learned it in school. What I like about that poem is that it talks about the clash of cultures between the Spanish and the Incas. The way that it's framed is that it's not only seen as a clash but also as a fusion. And in the end, the poet declares himself having the best qualities of both and embodying that. And I thought that is a message that I want to convey in this piece. Lord of the Air is different from, for example, Peru Negro or America Salvaje in that it does not literally or directly find inspiration on the musical elements of Peru, but it is inspired by the idea of the condor, right, and the majesty of the condor. There is a place in Peru called uh, Cañón del Colca, the Colca Canyon in Arequipa, which is a really deep canyon where you see the condor flying in its own natural habitat. I envision the cellist, you know, as the condor and the orchestra a little bit like the environment where it lives. Miguel and I have already known each other for about 20 years. At this point, Miguel understands my musical thinking so well The sometimes in rehearsals I don't even need to tell him what I'm after. And that kind of relationship is really extremely valuable and I think that reflects beautifully in this album. Thank you.